Hello everyone, I am Matthew Thomas. I am currently in South Bend, Indiana, Super Cool Radio's hometown. I got two very special guests with me, and they're both named Steve. So Steve <laughs> and Steve of Callus. Thank you guys for being on a Super Cool Radio. You're Thank very you welcome, man. So Steve, Steve, you were you were from the South Bend area. So what's it like being a musician in South Bend? Um to sum it up, it's hard. Uh, but it is the best music scene that I could have hoped for that has given me the chance to do things that I never thought I'd be able to do. You know, I mean, being able to open for national headliners and, you know, getting paid regularly for, uh, you know, for music that I wrote in my bedroom. It's crazy. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. Steve, any? Well, you know, I've uh, been on this scene for over 20 years and. You know, originals, covers, and uh, it's just been great. The the people in the scene, you know, we're all family. We all get along great, and you know that's what it's all about. And so, what uh, what was your inspiration to become a musician? Yes, yeah, Steve. What was your inspiration? I always wanted to be a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> That was the bass player. That wasn't, uh, just to clarify, the <laughs> lead singer didn't say that. Bass player slash comedian. Yeah, yeah, there you, you know, go. You know, I'm just trying to lighten the mood a little bit. <laughs> well, I'm about to bring it down. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I guess not. My inspiration really, honestly, okay. So when internet first came out, not to date myself in any way, but when the internet first came out, right, I had just been introduced to music that wasn't, um, We'll call it modern, all right? Music, music that, like, there, basically what I'm saying is I, I was looking up old classic rock videos, and then I got a smack in the face of a video that was titled SNL, Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit, and it, that is so cliche, and I don't even care, dude. That's genuinely, that performance changed the game for me, and I knew exactly what I was going to do. Right on. That, I mean, it I think, do, it's kind of a cliche, but honestly, that like smells like Teen Spirit was everywhere. Man, it was everywhere in the you know early to even even midnight, even after Kurt Cobain's death, it was it, still even to this day. It has its uh, what you call staying power, not because of how much it was pushed, but because of how much it was loved, which is crazy. Yeah, I think if I could pick a song, you know, to sum up like you did probably be welcome to the jungle good one on mtv good yeah. one that, that, that is a good that one flip my switch Whew. right there no joke you know, intro dude i was hooked <laughs> thanks slash thanks a lot shout out to slash on super cool radio oh, yeah. all right so march 13th uh at vegetable buddies you guys you have an acoustic set uh what you're making any special preparations like what we uh no we're doing no, an electric set. it's electric set we're okay, doing my, acoustic for you tonight okay my my bad i i saw acoustic on facebook my bad i really there wasn't a, we did play an acoustic show last week oh, well. okay so that's what i saw okay so you guys are playing an electric set yeah there we go got yes. it right uh any special preparation we're going, going, going for that full power full bore and we're going to give a hundred 10, 15, maybe even a hundred uh, we'll call it 23 percent but I'll tell you what, we're going to leave it all on that stage because Elsie Binks is a bad lady to open for. Yes, they are supremely good. I've had the opportunity of talking to them, and they're, they're some of the nicest people I've talked to, and Man. they really leave everything out on that stage. <laughs> it sucks having to sing before her. Oh, can I say sucks? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. No worries. My apologies. All right, so yes, electric set, March 13th, Vegetable Buddies. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so it's it's Friday the thirteenth, and guys, it's for a good cause. It's for yes. dogs and cats and their well being, which is right. very important. Yes, yes, that is all for sure for animals. So it's Friday the thirteenth. Any superstitions about that? Yeah, I mean, it's it, it, I, I'm not proud of it, but yeah, I mean, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> not only are you with Elsie Binks that day, it is Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. And also Murphy's Law is in my veins, <laughs> so anything that'll, you know, take us down is going to definitely have to just be 100% cautiously avoided. 
And by take us down, we're talking like technical difficulties that plague me, man. But it's as though as soon as we go to actually play the songs, it, everything just clicks in. So before the show, we'll probably be a pretty rough Friday the 13th. <laughs> but I think during it, we're going to do fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm for sure looking forward to it. And one of my favorite songs by you guys is Blow It Up. What was like the inspiration behind that song? Like, how did that come together? Okay, so Blow It Up was just a, it was just a warm up riff. And initially what I had done was uh, with a totally different drummer, somebody who didn't use double bass at all, and he still made it as powerful as he could. And, it, you know, it kind of, at the time we had just gotten into, uh, I believe we had just gotten into Saddam Hussein, or not, yeah, Saddam Hussein, yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah. the whole idea of sending people that were basically my age, you know, roll the dice, it's time to play Yahtzee, here's your gun, that, it just didn't, it made me feel terrible to find out that that was happening and they were being sent back here with horrendous brain injuries that nobody, nobody could even test for at that point. We couldn't find, the, we didn't know PTSD was real for a long time. And so to know at that age that I could go in six months, you know what I mean? Like I, I could, I mean, they could draft at any moment, you know what I mean? And it was just petrifying and I felt like they deserved this, some support of some kind, you know what I mean? Because the struggle is real and I just thank all of those guys. Yeah, shout out to our troops who keep us and America safe. All right, uh, so, so uh, how was the band, uh, so you guys named Callus. So how was, how was that name chosen for this band? Okay, you ready? Go ahead, lay it on this me. is rough, dude. Okay. So I'm 15. And I'm living my life. And things are normal, just like everybody else. And then your mom dies in a car accident. And when you don't have a dad, you just became what most people would call an orphan. <laughs> what we ended up, did, well, both me and my three sisters, um, Basically what ended up happening was uh, my big sister adopted us and took us in and it was a rough thing to deal with being, you know, the only boy with the office having no dad, I was expected to be strong and to be a little calloused. And it, it's a really, I've never performed under, the, under another name. It's the only thing I've ever taken the stage under. And that means a lot to me, you know, like I, I could, you know, you could change your name at any point. There's been a lot of lineup changes here. I, I can openly tell you that right now, that it takes a certain type of personality to be calloused, but it takes a really different type of personality to be in calloused. And I don't know, man, I guess it's more of a, it's more of a motto than anything, you know what I mean, at this point. But as life goes on, you know, you realize that therapy is one thing that music, music, writing music can do for you. It can be very, very therapeutic. And that's why I have poured every emotion I have into those lyrics. So that's pretty much where the name comes from. And so, um, so outside of music, what, uh, do you guys have any like outside interests, like outside of music or is it just um, interests, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, I like to watch the UFC occasionally, you know, I mean, until, until somebody's, like, clearly getting their head, like, just, you know, yeah. that's, to me, is, uh, I gotta, you know, I just gotta wince a little bit, but I do enjoy watching, you know what I mean, a good martial arts here and there. Oh, yeah, for sure, especially, I mean, just, just the mentality that it takes to get into a cage with someone who wants to bash your brains in. Deliberately. <laughs> yeah, like on purpose, like sanctioned. Yeah. Is... <laughs> Promoted it. <laughs> yeah, like that, to me, I respect anyone who does that, but for me, I'm going, you know, I'm good. I mean, Man. maybe I'll take up wrestling, but. <laughs> You're right. Professional. If you five million, would you go in the ring? 
Oh man, five, yeah. wait, guaranteed? Well, yeah, a guaranteed five sure. million. I like my face though. Like that's that's the thing. Yeah, like, dude, I need I'm my already, face intact to do this job. Already, <laughs> they, yeah, man, I got <laughs> screws in my face, man. We can't be doing that stuff. Would you do it? Five million. For five, I'd do it for a million. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, someone puts up the money, we can get a fight going on. <laughs> right. One dollar for one million people, and I'm in. Callus is willing to pay. <laughs> We'll full sanction the super cool radio will sponsor it too. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right. So, <laughs> on to some serious business. March 13th. It's at Vegetable Buddies, a electrified set. You guys are there with spaceships and Elsie Binks. What can people expect from this show? Um, okay. There's, a, there's, a, there's something that people have called it, um, people have called it from new metal. To, to alt metal, to straight up rock and roll. That's what we were billed as last week. And I think that there's a reason that all these names end up being different is because Callist goes out of their way to provide you with a roller coaster of a show. You're going to have slow stuff. You're going to have some fast stuff. I mean, you're going to have, you will have one killer metal song. Now, granted, we're not going to play that tonight. I'm going to leave that one out there, you know, to, to sort of dangle. But it's a song called Adaptation, and it is, it's a, it's, a, it's a good one. But we'll also be doing, you know, some lighter stuff, like uh, LLP is a lighter one. We're going to be playing that one for you. Uh, I would say that if you're going to expect anything, it's going to be a really good time, and also for a really good cause. And what, what is that cause that the show is being performed for? Uh, it is for the... Um, uh, the Cats and the Dogs, um, it's a charity that I am having a, I'm drawing a complete blank on the Le name. Uh, Leaping Leprechauns, I believe. There it is. Yeah, see, uh, Leaping Leprechauns, man. That it should have been really easy to remember. <laughs> I feel ashamed. I <laughs> now I have to donate too. <laughs> All right. Not that I wasn't going to. So now we got to worry about Leprechauns and Jason. <laughs> Yeah, it's Friday the 13th, dude. Yeah. It's going down. I'm wearing my green. I have my beads on. There you go. All right, so, uh, so it's for a good cause. It's going to be a killer show with three phenomenal bands. And uh, I've heard you guys also got some other shows going on. What, what other shows you got going on? Indeed we do. Um, after Elsie, we have a show coming up with uh, Blackstone Cherry and Santa Sonia and uh coldville uh if you can if you like tickets you can get a hold of us at uh facebook.com slash callist band and uh yeah we get you set up no problem we got an online link and everything also if you guys want to check out our merch store that would be awesome too and so uh so you kind of covered on that so um if people are interested, what, is, what are some best ways to get a hold of you guys or um, any merch they want to buy? Well, my number is 574. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help it. Um, no, you, Facebook is a guaranteed winner. Um, also, uh, if you go to midamericanentertainment.com, that's our management company, uh, they'll be able to get a hold of us through him too. All right, right on. So, uh, so remember, guys, March 13th, they'll be in downtown South Bend, Vegetable Buddies, three awesome bands. Like, these are oh. some of the greatest live bands I've seen. <laughs> Go ahead. I forgot the date, didn't I? May 9th. May 9th is the Blackstone Cherry Show after Elsie Binks. And that's in, uh, in Gold, Indiana, Electric Room. Yes, sir. And then those four, those four bands... That's going to be oh. insanity. That's oh, going to yeah. sell out for sure. We have already sold all of our tickets, and we have to get more of them because they're going so fast. Um, so heads up, if you want in to this show, you Hurry up. better <laughs> jump on it now. <laughs> but more importantly, Elsie Binks is going to be hard to open for, and <laughs> I am looking forward to trying my best. <laughs> yeah, they are a killer band to see live, and they always put on phenomenal shows no matter what hey so. this is our first interview man this is fun <laughs> i like this it's all about having fun here on the super cool radio thank so, you so much for having hey, us man hey no problem man it's always good to support local music especially i mean we're both in south bend that always helps for sure so and remember so march 13th it's in downtown south bend not too far from where we are right now it's at vegetable buddies 
and we got spaceships, we got cows, who guys I'm talking to right now. Yeah. Elsie Binks from Detroit Motor City. If you guys play an electric set, it's going to be phenomenal. So, if you guys don't have plans, or if you do have plans, please cancel them and come Word. to downtown South Word. Bend. And stick around for this acoustic song because it's going to be incredible. <laughs> That's right. But I'd like to thank Steve, the bass player, and also <laughs> Steve, the front man of Callus, for being on a super cool radio. Mm, I did have to it? identify both of you guys by <laughs> what instruments you guys play. I got guitar and vocals. I play bass guitar. He tries to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm uh, joking. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for being on Super Cool Radio. It was such a fun time. Yes, it was.